Okay guys, Fat Yankee here. So listen now, we got our marinade, our six pound marinade. So now we're just gonna align this on the trays, okay? So these trays are, um, are pretty important to our process anyway. But if you're doing this at home, you just wanna make sure that um, if you're putting it on a grate or doing it in the oven, you just wanna make sure that you put something underneath the oven um, because you will have a heck of a mess to clean up. Um, after that, but um, you want to make sure that you put tin foil or something on the bottom of the oven or uh, You know a cookie pan or something to catch any drips So what we're gonna do with this folks is uh, as you see we're lining this up on the trays and you want to make sure that um, none of the jerky is is touching um, Completely because that's gonna take about double the time to cook if your jerky is touching when you're lining it on the trays so these um these uh, trays actually have um, uh, drip pans on the bottom, so it's going to catch all that um, all that water that we're getting out of the jerky. And um, what we're going to do is, uh, while we're we're talking, um, what you want to do is you want to preheat your oven to um, uh, about 375. And um, as you uh, as you preheat the oven, okay, um, we want to bring this beef jerky up to a safe temperature. Now the, the temperature is really 160. Um, 160 degrees Fahrenheit but we want to bring this beef jerky up to about 165 just to be on the safe side and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put uh, a thick piece of jerky on the bottom of the tray of the bottom tray we're gonna recognize a thick piece and we're gonna put a probe inside it to make sure that internal temperature hits 165 degrees okay so we're gonna do this in a regular oven and then what we're gonna use is um, a dehydrator after we're done we're gonna finish this off for about four hours in the dehydrator and um, that's when our process is going to be finished okay so as we're lining these trays um, you know we're doing a lot here we're doing again six pound batches um, you know a hundred plus pounds uh, at a time and then uh, so this is all lined up and from there this is going to go again in the oven until um, it reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees. That's so important, guys, because that will kill uh, kill anything that may happen with the meat um, in any potential um, piece of the process. There, there really shouldn't be any piece of the process. The meat should always be kept cold, um, and uh, you know, it, everything should be uh, uh, should be okay. But this will deter any bacteria growth inside the meat. Uh, when you bring it to 165 degrees okay guys so in just a moment we're going to show you um, how we take that out of the oven after it's reached 165 degrees and how we very simply put it in one of these dehydrators here and uh, we're going to cook that for about four and a half um, hours in our big dehydrators now you at home guys if you have a smaller uh, dehydrator and i'm going to show you that dehydrator in just a minute um, you're going to actually cook that to uh, uh, for about seven to eight hours okay um so uh when you're when you're cooking that um you're going to want to make sure that one of the ways we test the jerky here is we do what's called a water activity test okay um first of all um you know there's a, a lot of technical aspects to making jerky um, um there's uh there's wet and dry bulb technology that uh, has to be used uh, to keep the humidity up to 90 percent. but you at home you really don't have to use that um stuff um, what you want to make sure is, and I'll show you a little way to cheat. Um, you're obviously not going to have a $2,000 water activity tester uh, to make sure the water activity is below uh, 0.85. But you're going to um, test the jerky by a, uh, a, a couple of different ways. And I'm going to show you how to do that when the jerky is done uh, and, and when, you've, um, when you've completed it, okay? So in your little smaller dehydrators, my friends, you're going you're gonna to cook this for at, at least um, is, you know, six to eight hours. Um, you know depending on your dehydrator okay now it's okay to open the dehydrator and check it um, when you check the jerky uh, when you actually um, check to see if it's done you're gonna want to take a piece of jerky and and rip it apart and inside of that you're gonna see like um, like uh, like kind of like a spider web type thing you're gonna see like uh, little hairs that look like a spider web and that's when you can really tell that the jerky is done um, and it's gonna have that nice marinated color in there, guys. So, um, and that, that's how you can really tell it's done if you don't have any of the fancy testing equipment. Um, and uh, you, again, this has all been brought up to 165 when you have put it in your dehydrator. 
So after that uh, six to eight hours, um, you should have no issue with your beef jerky. And um, you know, again, check it before then. Um, you know, check it after four hours, check it after six hours, just to make sure that you're not um, ruining your beef. Okay, guys. So this is um, this is how we do it. We'll show you what the finished product looks like, and uh, and um, we'll be back in just a moment.